to the envelope. They did an all-female Julius Caesar. Now they are planning Romeo and Juliet with a gay couple. Christine Long has more. I have unclassed to thee the book even of my secret soul. Therefore, they surprise us every summer with their diversity and inclusiveness. Superimposed on the bard is some very inventive casting. This summer, Shakespeare in the Park will feature Romeo and Juliet as a lesbian couple. After a couple of, of reads, we decided that no, we're actually going to change all the pronouns for Romeo so that this is in fact very clearly to women, that Romeo is a woman and Juliet is a woman and that they are uh, using female pronouns and that, that there's no, it's not just a theatrical convention, this is in fact to young women who fall in love. Thy name and arms were now as great as mine. The themes of forbidden love and misunderstanding families were always there. Now they take on a new aspect. It is certain I am loved of all ladies, only you accepted. And I would, I could... Repercussion Theatre's artistic director, Amanda Kellogg, feels the Shakespeare in the Park audiences are ready for this in 2018 how ready they are to hear a different take on an old story. Um, I think we're at a time now where, you know, we understand that gender is something that's kind of fluid and that, and that you know, love is love is love and that, and that people who love each other should be uh, respected and supported no matter who they are. Rehearsals begin next month and then the tour of neighborhood parks, including yours, begins in early July.